Well, we went in there to deliver our message with uh, our group of community supporters and labor supporters. Um, it was in response to the anti-union letter that we received, uh, every Burgerville worker received with their paychecks last Friday. Mm -hmm. It was basically urging workers to not sign authorization cards, um, saying all kinds of scary things that might happen if, an, if a union election were to occur. Um, saying a union election is a disturbance and they did explicitly say that they do not think that the union is in the best interest of Burgerville or Burgerville employees. I'll just take one minute to tell you that I'm a priest of the Archdiocese of Portland and we stand for workers and for a living family wage. And for being I, will, of us. I will in a minute. And we stand for living family wage for all workers. And, and, a dig and that, that provides a dignity for the workers so they can care for their families so that they can have a future, which I think is the responsibility of the company. We're here today to specifically address the letter that we received Hello. last Friday, May 6, 2016. Hello. This letter said that, quote, Burgerville has proudly and successfully carried out its responsibilities to our employees without the involvement of outside third-party labor union representation, and that, quote, Burgerville does not agree that union representation is in the best interest of our employees at Burgerville, or Burgerville. We were very disappointed to receive this letter by handing out this letter and in choosing to confuse, scare, and mislead your coworkers about the union, Burgerville has started down a particular path. This concerns us. The letter you gave to employees last week shows us that you are choosing to ignore our voices instead of listening and choosing to fight the union instead of sitting down with us and having a conversation about how we can make Burgerville better. We had hoped that Burgerville, with its commitment to sustainability and supporting the community, would be different than other, com other corporations when faced with the opportunity to part with the partner with their workers as a union. In the words of C Burgerville CEO Jeff Harvey, quote, along with great food comes responsibility to ensure people have access to that food. With self-reliance, communities can break free of the pattern of hunger and poverty. Our commitment is to do everything we can as a business and as a business leader to help create, promote, create and promote sustainable self-reliant systems and structures of our communities. You can, count, you can count on that from Burgerville. We, the Burgerville Workers Union, want to sit down and negotiate, uh, not only just to improve our jobs, but to improve our lives. We want to give Burgerville the chance to change its stance on the union and choose to sit down and negotiate with us because you respect the hard work we do and recognize that we deserve better. So um, who would like to officially receive the letter? Okay. Burgerville workers need a union because we need respect, we need a uh, wage that we can live on, uh, we need a voice on the job to fix the issues that surround us. Uh, I have co-workers, myself, have trouble paying rent, buying groceries. Uh, we're struggling to survive and Burgerville is not.